division of Tagig, Pateros, set out as a separate division for about four years. Now, its frontier is situated at Bikutan, Tagig, Metro Manila, under the management of the Adept and Dexterous Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Jovita O. Kaliksihan. Tapat Division consists of seven strong-willed secondary schools. These are Western Bikutan National High School, Tagig National High School, Signal Village National High School, Ricardo Papa Memorial High School, Tipas National High School, Bagumbayan National High School, and Pateros National High School. Pateros National High School, situated at the heart of the smallest municipality in the metropolis, is recently under the leadership of the ever-supportive and staunch principal, Mrs. Esther C. Tangila. Pateros National High School is currently lodging 5,800 students and 205 teachers together with the eight department heads. Teachers affect eternity. No one can ever tell where their influence will end. That is why teaching has been recognized as the noblest profession. Though it seems to be a tough job, it is challenging and fulfilling. On the other hand, teaching has become a virtual repression. For some teachers, their homes have become extensions of the workplace. Paperwork and other related tasks have been preoccupying teachers, causing a remarkable number of educators to spend less quality time with their families, friends, and loved ones. Preparation of master lists, monthly attendance reports, class record, grading sheets, and daily lesson plans pile up. Even at the pinnacle of the advancements of technology, still a large percentage of teachers practice the conventional way of preparing reports instead of making it easier, more convenient, and less effort with a more presentable output through the use of computers. Pateros National High School is indeed fortunate to be included in the list of school recipients of the Intel Teach to the Future program of the Department of Education, Culture and Sports in collaboration with Intel Philippines Incorporated. This program aims to prepare English, math and science teachers on the effectual use of information technology in the classroom. Preliminary to its far-reaching realization, Mrs. Bituin Sotelo and Ms. Celia De Vera, both science teachers, were sent to take part in the regional trainings under the supervision of the division and the regional supervisors for science and mathematics. After careful planning with the department heads and three computer literate science teachers, Maria Concepcion A. Villarosa, Jean P. Hapa and Humphrey B. Akkawili, who in due course became facilitators, trainers to other science teachers during the school-based training which commenced last week of August and culminated on the first week of September 2001. Each mentor was assigned five trainees and it was conducted on opposite sessions pursuant to Dex Memorandum 237 series of 2001.
ang source of air pollution is volcanic eruption. Jezebel. The 1983 eruption of Kilauea Crater spilled molten basaltic lava down the planks of Mauna Loa Volcano on Hawaii Island. Next, Clint. Volcanic eruption results in the emission of sulfur dioxide. Locate the following points on a Cartesian plane in a Franco. One unit to the left of zero and two units above zero. Point P are negative one and positive two. Clarissa. Two units to the right of zero, three units above zero. Point Q are positive two and positive three. Based on the figure, what can you say about geometry? Geometry is the study of shape, line, and size of objects. What are the basic terms in geometry? Points, lines, and At the outset, there was only one computer accessible for this pursuit. However, the program progressed with the delivery of 10 units of computers on January 2001 by the Department of Science and Technology through the initiative of Congressman Alan Peter Cayetano and by the Federation of Filipino-Chinese Chamber of Commerce and the Makati Business Club by way of Belgosa Media Systems Incorporated. Thus far, the training has rippled to the mathematics and English departments. Teachers now enjoy integrating their computer skills in teaching. In consequence, lecturers and facilitators employed IT during the BEC seminar. As the school year draws to a close, it is expected that all teachers of Pateros National High School will have become information technology advocates and practitioners in the classroom.